So black churches supported the African-American community since we were brought here as slaves. But regardless of all the good it does, life behind the scenes at the church often reflects life outside the church. Radio personality and motion picture writer and director Russ Parr takes a look at the drama in the church in his new film, The Under Shepherd. Take a look. <laughs> it's like some of the people you work with. They, 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 they smile in your face and all the time they're trying to take your place. They're the backstabbers. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor, tell them. Tell them, Pastor, tell them. Y'all don't hear me. You want to give and you want to live. You want change, I'll bring a change. You want change, I'll bring a change. We can stop yelling in the hallway and just tell me what the problem is because I really don't know what the problem is. I want something done about this young man, and I want something done now. Can we, can we, can we table, can, can we table? Sister Roberts, you look absolutely breathtaking today. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good stuff, huh? We're joined now by Russ Parr. Russ, welcome back to the show. It's great to be here. Uh, man, well, first of all, um, what led you, you've done other movies, what led yeah. you to say, I really want to look at the drama in the black church? Well, I think it probably started when I was, you know, very young and, and couldn't do anything about it. You know, my mom had me in the church and she felt I was kind of losing myself because after a while I, I started seeing that, you know, things didn't seem quite right. There were things that I felt that, you know, the interpretation uh, of the Bible was in question. And when I, when I became smart enough to realize, wait a minute, that can be taken another way. Then I started looking at that pastor, that person that was preaching like, wait a minute, this is their personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And people make life decisions based on what this individual says. But I think one of the things that really uh, made me write this movie, it was after the uh, 2004 election. Mm -hmm. And I had heard rumors about how the Republican Party was going around the country buying off, you know, uh, uh, pastors in the swing states, black pastors. Some of the pastors put the money right. into the church. Some of them put them in their pocket. And then I actually had a friend of mine who said I was one of the people that was assigned to do it. Mm. And he started naming off names. And I'm like, you're kidding me. So that just got in my crawl. And then I was watching something on TV one day where this lady was like, you know, has a candle on her house and she's like tithing her last dollars to an individual that you know was rolling in a bmw and, and living quite well and i'm like I, I don't quite understand how you could take that individual's money and so it made me start looking at some of these pastors because this is not an indictment of all pastors right. this is I mean, an indictment I mean, this, is, this is a movie yeah. and so uh you've had pastors who've gotten in trouble you've had a lot of churches who do a lot of great stuff right I mean, at the end of the day it, it's a movie i mean that's exactly. what it is and exactly. so it, it's a it's a reflection from uh from your point of view mm -hmm. uh, now you you've taken this movie to film festivals all across the country right. and have gotten a great reaction from folks yeah. who saw it yeah i mean we we kind of swept a lot of awards in, in a lot of these film festivals uh, but i i had some pushback from Hollywood, you know, because they don't really want to deal with either. Either they didn't like the movie, or they just didn't want to deal with you know, the subject matter. But you also, you also had some pushback from some pastors. Uh, yeah, I had a well, few. You that, too. Yeah, they uh, actually invited some to my home, and, and they were literally uh, almost cussing me out of my house because they felt this was a bad time to show this movie, and you're just trying to make money. I'm not making any money off this movie. As a matter of fact, I took an L. They also got one hell of a cast. Yeah, um, you know, to get to Isaiah Washington was incredible I, the way he tapped into the to, to the character i right. found myself the first day shooting him watching him and forgetting to direct everybody else because <laughs> he was he was phenomenal i mean i and right. it, that's i'm biased because you know this man took my words and just took it to another level so you got isaiah elise neal yeah lou gossett jr wow. um bill cobbs melinda williams uh, who won Best Actress at the ABFF in, in Miami. Um, I, I've, I've got Vanessa Bell Calloway. Uh, just really strong performances. Clifton Powell. You know, you, people that you see yeah, in comedy. a lot of folks we know. Yeah, you know, it's okay. like I had something on all of them. I had pictures of them <laughs> with animals and stuff, but no. Uh, but it was, I was able, I think when Isaiah got on the set, right. he set the tone. Because everybody like, what? did you see what's going on here? People were coming back to me during breaks. I'm like, let's go back over the script here. Gotcha. Because his performance, he's so tapped in. 
it just blew everybody away. Okay. Well, we look forward to it, Russ, and we appreciate it. Right. Uh, and folks, uh, also tune in to the world premiere of The Under Shepherd on Saturday, March 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on TV One. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff that night. Of course, we're going to be airing Woman Thou Art Loose from Bishop T.D. Jakes at 5 o'clock at 7 with a Washington Watch uh, special called Amazing Grace Drama in the Church. And we'll profile three pastors who have faced crisis in their ministries and survived to be even stronger on the other side. So it'll be a powerful evening. You don't want to miss it. Amazing Grace at 7 and on the Under Shepherd at 8. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Russ, we appreciate it. Thanks Thank a bunch. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.